In real estate transactions, a real estate broker acting as the seller's agent may owe fiduciary duties to the buyer. In Holmes v. Summer, the California Court of Appeal considered whether a real estate broker acting as the seller's agent had to disclose circumstances to a buyer that she knew made a successful residential real estate closing unlikely. Around 2008, when foreclosures and short sales created a disruption in the real estate market, Phil and Janiel Holmes sought to buy property in Huntington Beach, California. The Holmeses came across a property listing they were interested in. The Holmeses contacted Zeke Linda Summer, the seller's broker, who showed them the property. Summer didn't mention any encumbrances that affected the seller's ability to sell at the advertised price. Following the showing, the Holmeses offered to purchase the property for $700,000, free and clear of all monetary liens and encumbrances, with escrow to close in 60 days. In response, Summer, on the seller's behalf, counteroffered for $749,000 and a 30-day escrow. However, the counteroffer didn't disclose that the property was subject to three deeds of trust, totaling $1.14 million. The Holmeses accepted the counteroffer and sold their old house to finance the purchase. But at the time the Holmeses signed the purchase documents, the property couldn't be transferred to them free and clear of all monetary liens and encumbrances because the existing debt on the property exceeded the purchase price. As a result, the Holmeses suffered financial losses. Subsequently, the Holmeses sued Summer and her employer, Beneficial Services, which operated as a REMAX office in State Superior Court, for negligence, negligent misrepresentation, and deceit. In response, Summer filed a demurrer, seeking to dismiss the claim. The Holmeses filed an opposition, arguing that Summer knew about the debt on the property, but failed to disclose it, in breach of her fiduciary duties. The court sustained the demurrer and dismissed the complaint without leave. The Holmeses appealed to the California Court of Appeal.